Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We've got a, what I hope will be a fun one today. We've got uh, Gabriel Panic, Frank Round Pierre. This game uh, was played uh, a, f a few days ago, and uh, Gabriel sent it over to me. Uh, it was reported, and uh, I believe a recording of the other side is already up on the internet as well. So uh, if you're joining in, thank you. Um, and uh, away we go. So we're going to be watching from Gabriel's side today. Obviously, Gabriel, Atlantic League champion. And uh, he's playing as the USSR. He's got an interesting hand here. Uh, not a particularly good one. Uh, you know, CNS is nice to have. Five-year plan, good to have. Uh, CIA, actually, reasonably good to have for the USSR in turn one. Usually you can get rid of it pretty painfully. Uh, painlessly, rather. Uh, independent Reds you can get rid of pretty painlessly as well. So, uh, given a uh, lack of ops, uh, my, my headline here would be Captured Nazi. Okay, well now I'd consider Suez with the 3-3-2 setup. The problem with Suez is you want to use, in this case, you probably want to use Duck to coup Malaysia. But if you use Suez and you coup Iran, you're likely eating a coup back in the Middle East. Okay, now we've got a Marshall headline. So if you, you if you headline Suez and you get a good roll on Iran, sometimes you'll eat that desperation coup back, and then the duck coup of Malaysia is not a thing. Now, not as big a concern here with the Marshall headline as Frank can easily get back into Turkey. So here we'll see the coup. Smart to just take it anyway. I don't think there's any reason to do anything else. Did he get the three? Perfect roll there for Gabriel. Now Frank needs to uh, Frank needs to get into Syria or potentially coup Syria. But with one in Turkey already, I don't think you need to. I don't think you uh, need to worry about a coup. Should be just should be one Syria, maybe fix up Europe for yeah, Iad Malaysia. Okay, and so now Gabriel will get his shot here to duck coup Malaysia. Oh, and he misses on the roll. Oh, that's a big miss for Gabriel. He has to hand over. Uh, 2VP. Gabriel, oh, thank you for joining, Gabriel. Gabriel, you needed to roll better on that duck coup. That's a critical play um, to get that duck coup off. And uh, he uh, and it was absolutely the right decision, and he rolled a 2 on it. Needed a 3. It's a totally different game if he rolls a 3. Now trying the Lebanon coup. Just stop Middle East presence, trying to be annoying, get and get an annoying card and independent reds out of the deck. Try ideally, if you are Gabriel, you want to get you want to get CNS off before CIA. Um, but you risk obviously if you go CNS, you risk a Fidel coup of Iraq. All right, I, I would go CNS here. I think. I, I think. I think I'd go CNS. I, I yeah. I think I like CNS to get my two VPs. I don't want to show it with CIA. These other cards, I don't mind showing. So, okay, so take your two VPs there now. We'll now good chance we see a coup. Uh, we see a coup here from Frank to oh, that's not what Gabriel wanted to see. Yep, that's exactly what he was hoping Frank would not do. And now Gabriel has to either space five year plan or play China. Yeah, I, I, I you know what. I don't I don't mind I think I would have played CNS on AR3 instead of the Lebanon coup. Um, but if if we had done that, then I think Frank would have done would have taken his Fidel coup 
right afterward. So I don't think we're getting CNS off and CIA. Um, so while that is a disappointing outcome, if you are, if you're Gabriel, I don't think he played that wrong. Okay, C5, maybe get back into Israel. Don't want to put all your eggs in that Lebanon basket. Okay, just, just protect Thailand. That's good. And then, uh, yeah, I don't think we want to... I think we don't really don't want to space five-year plan with Europe the way it looks. So, yeah, I like taking South Korea here. And then maybe one... Yeah, that's fine. Problem here is you really... If you leave just the two in Iran and you don't get into Western Asia, you really cannot give up a coup. Um, and you, with CIA in your hand, you're probably giving up a coup of Iran next turn. I think I would rather get one into Afghanistan um, here than the overprotective North Korea. Because, man, you give up CIA, you, uh, you know, Frank could headline containment. You give up CIA uh, and then a five or six is rolled in Iran and it's just devastating. Uh, thank you for the good luck, uh, Jordan. Uh, but uh, I'm not playing. I'm just just hanging out here with uh, with Gabriel's game. Okay, wow, just even more overprotection in Europe. Doesn't even take Lao. Okay, and here we go. All right, nice hand here for Gabriel. What he does not get is duck and cover. Okay. Um, I think Middle East is fine here. Okay, U.S., Japan. Okay, that means that a, a Vietnam or decal headline wasn't going to give domination. All right, I think you have to give this. And now we're holding our breath here. Uh, a roll of six is an unspeakable disaster for Gabriel. Even a five is not that big a deal. Uh, all IP war is gone, so a four or less, I would expect to see him go into Pakistan. Okay, yeah, I, I think I, I think I would go into Pakistan here. Um, okay, thinking about a South Korea overprotect. My concern is I don't want to lose that race to India, um, but we're with with Frank not even in Lao yet. I don't think that's really a concern. Um, decent ops here, no access to speak of when we're just going to hope that, well, we're going to hope that Frank doesn't have that. And he certainly does. So, yeah, I, I think we can, uh, yeah, again, this is going to be a boring turn. I think it's time for Gabriel to just fill up the, his battlegrounds and be done with it. So Korean War is around. AI War is around. But highly unlikely we will see either of them triggered by Frank um, all because he has China. Although, decal, destall still around. So uh, blockade might be a decent event here. Okay, there goes decal. So space of decal on turn two with China in hand suggests he also has destall. So blockade could be worth an event. Um, if, if for no other reason, maybe you make him discard, uh, discard something else because you want to hold destall. Yeah, I like this play from Gabriel. Yeah, I, I like this. I, I don't know if we, we probably will see something like sock govs um, instead of destall, uh, or maybe we'll just see, maybe we'll just see destall and hold something else. Okay, there's De Gaulle. Yeah. Okay, NATO. Oh, okay, interesting. Wow, going for Taiwan already. Oh, well, that's easily parried. Yep, this is exactly what I would do. Asia, the only unscored region, so both players need to play hard into it. I'd like to see one of these players get into Israel. Particularly Frank, I'd like to see him potentially go back in there and at least try and, and win the race to Libya. Okay, and there's Korean War. Um, rolls the one, so so the t taking of Taiwan makes sense. I didn't love it because it was so easily uh, so easily dealt with by Gabriel, but with in the context of the Korean War, it makes sense. 
and didn't want to have a Max Goldman special on our hands. Yeah, I like Burma, Indonesia. Yeah, you just just make make Gabriel take India. Um, Afghanistan doesn't do anything for you. I don't. I don't. I don't love that. I don't think Afghanistan really does anything for you. We're not going to get Dom here. We're already down six countries to five. I mean, even even decal and and D, you know if we if we do get decal turn three, we're not going to want to use decal and then headline Asia. We're going to want to use it in Africa. Yeah, I don't I don't understand uh, Afghanistan. I'd rather take an Iraq there. I think. Or again, I keep harping on it, getting one into Israel. Uh, but I guess we're going to count on we're going to count on Frank to play Nasser for us. Yeah, uh, Jordan mentioning also poking West Germany. Not that great with France at four um, and Truman around, but you don't have a ton to do with your ops. I like overprotecting India. I like taking Iraq. I like getting into Israel. Um, all, all those are good. Um, but yeah, and, and, and overprotecting India is especially important because a poke of India threatens obviously a flip of Pakistan uh, with China. And especially with containment, that becomes attractive. Highly doubt that Frank has the scoring. He would have dumped it long ago if he had it. Gabriel needs access. So decal was spaced. So Gabriel got a good roll in Iran. Got Middle East off for plus one. He, he's up a battleground in Asia, but he has zero ops uh, in Africa. He has zero ops in South America, and he has zero ops in Southeast Asia. So uh, need some access cards here. Uh, maybe a redraw of De Gaulle, or forget about De Gaulle. Just get Europe turn three here with five-year plan and be done with it. I'd like to see Gabriel... Again, I'd like to see a little bit more aggression on Gabriel's part of the Middle East. Um... Or just, uh, you know, just protect your Asian, Asian battlegrounds is fine. Uh, obviously, the nightmare scenario is an IP war flipping India uh, before the scoring uh, with Formosan in effect. But we also might see, okay, and there, oh, an early Vietnam. That's interesting. Okay. Um... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder now if containment takes Burma. Now that we've taken Afghanistan, does containment take Burma? That's interesting. I mean, I guess Burma taking Burma here would be a three-op play that you it can be repaired with a one-op. Um, so not great, especially if, yeah, especially if we think we're going to see a China, uh, use the China card here to hold D stall. Yeah, well, Burma gives us domination now. Um, but of course it can be responded to with a one up like that one, for example. Okay. And there's a one, uh, that becomes a two. So now I'll take Syria. All right. So. Frank did not have D-stall, and Gabriel going to hope to get it here. Huge moment in this game. Who's going to get D-stall? It is Frank. So Gabriel picks up Asia. And uh, not much else. Uh, Middle East redraw, very nice and fortunate for, fortunate for Frank that he was able to sneak Syria there. But okay. I guess 
So you can headline Asia here. Um, I, I, I guess Asia's your headline, isn't it? Um, we don't we don't have access anywhere. I think we're I think we headline the known scoring card, and if Frank has IP war and he rolls a five, then so be it. If he has IP war and rolls a five, we don't have China. The scoring card's known in our hand. We're not gonna we're not gonna uh, be able to stop Dom. Of course, we though we do have five year plan, so it is a little bit risky. But I think he's gonna bet on he bet, bet he didn't redraw, and yep, there we go. We see duck and cover. Um, and with Truman, I believe known in Frank's hand, there's no reason to headline sock govs and uh, and try anything weird. Okay. So um, this is a, a situation where uh, obviously Gabriel would have loved to coup Panama and even maybe think about a Columbia play. Duck and cover, that's off the table. So I think he is consigned here to um, filling up Middle Eastern battlegrounds. Yeah, lack of access is a problem. Um, the De Gaulle redraw is nice, but uh, Frank has, a, uh, has Truman known in his hand. Uh, and uh, Gabriel certainly doesn't want to give up a coup and wouldn't be able to flip France. Uh, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't worry about that. Worry about that later. Let's do, uh, yeah, let's, let's start filling up Middle East battlegrounds. Uh, we don't have anything better to do. Okay. Okay. Spacing defectors is fine. I wonder if Tom might cons uh, excuse me, Tom. I was just talking with someone at work named Tom. I wonder if Gabriel might consider a De Gaulle, a mid-turn De Gaulle, um, to potentially snag Algeria. He would not. <laughs> not after that. Yeah. So we we can. I think I'd put that in Poland over East Germany. Although I guess with Truman known in, yeah, with Truman, I guess you have to do it this way. So yeah, I guess so. Gabriel can fill there, and he can he can be satisfied with this. Is this is five VP? Let's see if he wants to take Libya as well. He's going to want to event AI war for sure. Um, and then, but you could event both Sokgovs and De Gaulle, um, just to be annoying in Europe. Or you could just use them to fill up battlegrounds here. You're not going to get control. You still need nine ops to get control, and you have to use your, you have to get your mill ops as well. So definitely not getting control. Um, but he does. He want to spend the five ops for two VPs, given that it's no, that's normally a terrible trade. Um, but you don't want him to use the ops uh, elsewhere. Excuse me. You don't have anywhere else to use the ops. I'd put. I, I'd. I'd put. I'd put this one in Saudi. I think. Maybe he's trying to. I don't love the Tunisia play. I okay. I guess the Tunisia play makes sense in the context of he's going to go for Nigeria. Um. And so you you allow free passage to Nigeria there. Clearly, if Frank had IP war, we would have seen it by now. Um, so, yeah, I, I suspect we, we might see a coup of Saharan states. Okay, there's Truman, and this will just go to Nigeria. Um, I think we just score here. Yeah, this is fine. I think we event AI war just to not give the opportunity for the coup back. Uh, and then we hold five-year plan for what we hope will be Africa. And there goes D-Stall. So... Gabriel gonna try. Needs a five here. Rarely is Syria the modifier. Yeah, and there it is. So Syria coming through uh, to stop two VPs on AI war. Comic Con Gabriel probably happy to see that. This should take Zaire in Mexico. Yeah.
should be should be Zaire next go. Yep. I don't know what... UK doesn't do much for us. I think I like UK better. No, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there was we just had no better use of our ops, so might as well... Might as well try the event, and we're going to hope to get Africa here. Oh, well, that'll repair and take Mexico... Nope, second Angola. Okay. Wow, gonna overprotect. Doesn't want uh, Willy to take away Dom. Okay, here's decal, much needed. Green in Gabriel's hand. Gabriel gonna really hope to get double space here. I'm sure uh, D uh, Gabriel would have much rather seen decal turn two than now, but he'll take it now. I think this is just a decal headline and a coup. Is that what it is? It's just a decal headline and a coup of Angola? I would not headline Gunman. I'd leave that in the deck. Yeah, I think we've... Uh, I believe we, we saw defectors last turn, so not defectors not a concern here. CMC, not a card that uh, I'm sure Gabriel wanted to see, but this will allow him to flip both Nigeria and Zaire. Uh, but yeah, this is this is not good. This is going to give uh, Gabriel. This is going to deny the coup. Um, fortunately, Fidel was triggered, so yeah, you're going to flip all of these. And you're going to want to remove that influence from Cuba as soon as possible. You don't want to get realigned out before CMC is gone. If you do, um, that gives uh, gives Frank unobstructed access into South America. Gabriel saying he thought about gunmen just to see what missile envy could get him, uh, which definitely is is fair. Uh, but Gunman, I think, is at this point is a card we want to leave in the deck uh, for the late war, potentially. But okay, we flipped two African battlegrounds, and now Frank can flip one. Uh, but if he does, Frank can flip one of those back, but if he does, we will see Yuan of Che. Okay, that makes sense. Wonder, yeah, now yeah, what I'd like to do is take a coup of Saharan to stop Dom, uh, and then at the same time, a neuter Cuban Missile Crisis. But I think you have to overprotect. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I like this. I think this is correct. If, uh, now, Cameroon is a big problem for Gabriel, but he can just coup it. So I think we'll see Africa here if Frank has it, which he does not appear to.
Gabriel really hoping a double space here. Now, uh, our man can be used with a poke of Syria and uh, not do anything. Grain obviously has to be spaced, and then I probably want to see a space of Usuri as well. Does not want to see one small step in Frank's hand. Oh, doesn't want to see that in his hand either. Now we'll see some realigns in Cuba. Oh, that's huge. Oh my goodness. That is a game-changing moment. Yep. And that is a disaster. Clearing out five influence in one swing. Yeah. I mean, I don't even think this is great because he's going to get right back into South America anyway and there's not a damn thing we can do. Oh, and he hits the roll. Okay. Uh, the chat should, should uh, chime in on Gabriel's question. I didn't think play deck gave us the option to remove unless, unless we could, uh, but that could just be on the mobile version and not on, uh, not on the iPad. Um, okay. So this, this will go Columbia for sure. And Cameroon makes sense. And now we're not getting our mill ops and we are in danger of getting realigned in multiple places. Gabriel still has to space. He has to do that. Um, very few ops left. Oh, just an unmitigated disaster here needed to get out of Cuba and those were two huge huge rolls okay southeast as a break for Gabriel at least um, had so much uh, was able to, that Frank was able to put ops into South America and um, use ops there and didn't didn't spend the two ops for two VPs uh, in Southeast Asia. Okay, there's nuke subs that will just take Venezuela. I think we'll see another space here. And five year plan definitely getting held here. Gabriel misses on the roll. I don't think he's that upset. Oh, that is painful. Oof. Still didn't eat, didn't eat the real lines in Africa. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Just get rid of gunmen. We've got to hold five-year plan for Europe and Africa. No, don't do this. I don't, I don't, okay. Okay. I don't like this. We got two scorings out there that are about to be bad. Um, I, I would have liked to hold on to five year plan. That's a card that could keep us in the game. Oh, and the Pope event is nasty here. Warsaw, Warsaw in the discard, I believe. Okay. So here we go. Turn five. No scorings and some problems here, some small problems, um, but uh, not a hand. Uh, this is actually a hand where you could use five-year plan to dump Sadat. Okay, we need to not eat missile envy here, um, and I guess, I guess this is a this is a brush of Italy. I think Ayende is nice, but um, too little, too late. C5 does very little. Oh my goodness, that hurts. Okay, now CRG, okay, there's, okay, central. So we're gonna put one in Mexico. No, I think you put one in Mexico and you take your coup and then you just have a boatload of one-op plays. Oh my goodness, you just have a bunch of one-ops after we will bury you. I don't know if you take the three-op coup. Maybe you just coup Africa. Okay, no, he's going to take the big three-op coup, try and get a four out of it. Gets the roll. Huge roll. So now Central should, be, should not be too bad. 
but CRG is a problem. Going to give up Sadat. Now, the good news is, I guess, you could still space Kennedy. Brush is an event. You've got three one-ops, and that that uh, the loss of an op there didn't really work. Okay, realignment's in Africa. A miss there. Gabriel's still holding his breath. And okay, that were that were that was great for Gabriel. He can't really protect those by taking countries, so I think we'll just see a coup of Cameroon here, which makes the most sense. Don't roll the one, Gabriel. Three is fine. So it didn't really so the purchase didn't really hurt him with we will bury you because he rolled a six. This should end up being, in effect, a one-op purge because it looks like it's only going to hit Camp David. Although, of course, we would have been able to space CRGs otherwise. Yeah, I think this has to be Italy. Gabriel needs this. Gabriel needs this. Never want to get purged. This one not that painful. Uh, but yeah, annoying that you're going to have to give up Camp David. Um, and Gabriel could space Kennedy to get um, to get headline peak. But I think you'd probably rather give it up knowing that there are no bad scorings in Frank's hand. And that uh, Gunman is not there either. Yeah. Jordan talking about a brush on Angola, which I don't hate either. And it's a great play if this is a three. Oh, he gets the four. Um, but I think we're just hoping we can coup Angola next turn. Whereas if we don't brush Italy, we're definitely eating a Europe dom. Now, Frank, of course, can just take Poland and reestablish Europe dom right away. I wonder if you... Yep, and there's an ABM. So we, if we, if Brush had succeeded on Angola, we could have just seen an ABM coup. Now ABM will take Poland... To reestablish Dom. Yeah, I think Sadat just put the one back in is good. That was an enormous junta from Frank. And now uh, ABM actually just used as a garden variety four to take Poland. Oh, there's puppets to get into the bottom half. And yeah, Frank, Gabriel probably wishing he had invented Allende and AR sooner, but we'll definitely see it here. Frank And uh, Frank used... Puppets to put one in Mexico to save him on off there. It should be two Argentina, one Mexico. Okay, this should be Camp David. Right? We gotta give gotta give up Camp David. You know, one Chile is fine. Saudi is fine here. Even Egypt is fine here uh, with Sadat now gone. Especially with Muslims, I believe, still around. So we should see central scoring here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now, with no scoring cards in hand, no gunmen, I think this is a... I think you just play Kennedy for ops here. Yep. Yeah. And we'll see what we get. Africa still unscored. I wouldn't object to... Okay, Quag and OPEC. So it takes the chance of drawing both Europe and Africa. Uh, what about a coup of Cameroon? Although... To South Africa, also a potential play. Right now, Frank does not have Dom. Okay, front, well, Gabriel with a foothold in Central America, a foothold in South America. Okay, and it just decides to use that for ops. Okay, wow. 
That works. So IP war for the event could have been very interesting. Instead, just use it for ops. Gabriel played the China card on turn one. Gabriel played China turn one, and uh, Frank has held on to it since. So here we go. This doesn't seem like a great Brezhnev hand at first blush. Hits Romanian Panama, probably doesn't hit Bear Trap. Portuguese seems like our headline, I think, unless it's salt. You could salt for Warsaw, potentially. Or you could salt and realign Poland. You could salt, not salt for Warsaw, and then just on AR1, realign Poland at plus one. Brezhnev doesn't get us much. And this is tricky. It's not a bad hand. It's just tricky as to how we're going to manage it. We also have Africa in our hand, and it looks like we're going to get we're going to get dominated. Ah, not what we're looking for. Okay, so a nice play there from Frank. Going to pick up five VPs, and now I think we now I think we hope Warsaw comes back in the late war. And we just pick up a card like ABM to fight in Africa. All right, get comfy, folks. It's scoop time. So, yeah, I think we'll start with Angola. Makes perfect sense. We, that's, roll better than that. That's an anything but a one situation. I think I would just coup that back. Or no, maybe I would just fill it. No, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do here. Okay, I'm going to coup with Willie. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to give Gabriel the last coup. And then he also has ABM. So good chance we get out of, I'd say Portuguese for the event, if, if we need it. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Two ones on anything but a one in Africa. Now we're definitely getting dominated in Africa. Unless Frank's hand is truly terrible. This is a, wow, what a disaster. Okay. Uh, and yeah, this should be two Angola, one Nigeria. No, three Angola, because he knows he's eating an ABM coup. Oh, my goodness. There's a two. This will just fill up Nigeria, I assume. Yep, there it is. So now we could see the ABM coup. But Gabriel understandably does not want to coup it, given that he could get realigned out right away. Yeah, this doesn't do much. This That does almost nothing. Okay, we're I don't I'm a little confused as to what that what that does. It makes the ABM coup a little easier, I guess, but we're still down in country count six to three. After the coup, we'll be down five four with only one AR before we have to score it and three bad cards in our hand in addition to the scoring. So yeah, we're giving up this Africa Dom here. Wow, those are two horrific ones.
Yeah, so I guess you're just going to try and save, uh, as Jordan says, a couple of VPs in Africa. Um, a, a huge role on Venezuela would be enormous at this stage. Wow, just really overprotecting Angola. Yeah, I, yeah, I hear you, Gabriel. That hurts. So the question is, do you just dump Africa for the six and use ABM somewhere else? Yep. Yeah, Gabriel just gonna go ahead and save ABM. I think that's fine. And there we go to space. Gabriel wants to go to space himself. I, I was I was wondering if we might think about an ABM coup of Venezuela. We get a huge role with Brazil empty could could really reshape South America, but then again, we're under salt, so you need a five. And not only that, you don't have, really have the ops to take Brazil. I think I would space bear trap here uh, to try and pick up three VPs. Okay, there goes South African. Yeah, this is fine. I think we'll just see that repaired. Man, I, yeah, I think this is pro I guess, I, I, I think I'd like to pick up to try and, oh, I'm gonna take Burma, that stops Dom and yeah, I think I like space and bear trap here. Unless we, yeah, I was gonna say, unless we, um, voice I believe is coming next turn and it's unspaceable. So bear trap could have been a good way to get rid of voice. Okay, well, my plan to coup Venezuela and take Brazil uh, was uh, clearly misguided there. And we move to the reshuffle. So let us assess the board. Those are not cards that. Gabriel wanted to see, but I suppose Nixon in his hand and VOA in his hand means they're more manageable. Oh, and a redraw, two scoring redraws. However, Middle East redraw is very nice, um, especially with headline peak. You can dump it in the headline, I believe, um, unless, we, unless we see something very powerful. That's going to be six, seven, eight VPs. Unfortunately, we're going to give back some of those in Europe. Of course, you could use ABM in Europe and then dump at AR1. Of course, you risk Middle East disaster. All right. So what I think Europe right now is six. I think if you if you poke Poland with ABM, it becomes zero. I I don't know. I think I like saving six and hoping that because Middle East is not known here. Middle East is not known here. All right. The chat, tell me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Gabriel, I like ABM, poke Poland, um, score Europe, save yourself six VPs, and then hope because because Middle East is not known that you um, that you can still score presenceless Middle East on AR one. 
That that is what I I think I would have done. This hand is really bad, and uh, I spoke about potentially. Oh my goodness, is that a third, a third one in Angola? What a disaster! Okay, so I spoke uh, uh, earlier about uh, bear trap, about potentially holding bear trap to get rid of VOA. Gabriel chose not to do that, but he immediately redrew it. So he'll definitely be self-trapping here to dump VOA and then potentially duck if he fails. Still has ABM lurking. Um, but yeah, Gabriel now down seven VPs and his after his best scoring is gone, his, or not just his best scoring, his only good scoring. But yeah, I think we needed to use ABM to save six VPs. Do something to dis maybe it would do something else to distract from the Middle East with the other two ops, and then hope we can get Middle East off for eight. Okay, ABM, are we gonna roll again on Angola? We're gonna go Brazil. Yeah, let's go Brazil. Let's go Brazil, Gabriel. Don't roll a one or a two this time. We just get a three. Just need a three on Brazil. Can we do that? Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. Okay, we need to roll better. We need to roll better. Um, it's uh, it's definitely fair at this point to start talking about Gabriel's path to victory. Uh, Gabriel is about to be down 13 VPs. He's ahead in space. Okay, Asia is nice. That's going to pick him up one VP, but still, that's that's his best scoring. That's still around. Mm, yeah, I, I, I think it had to be ABM, Gabriel. Now, let's see how he... And using ABM to, to coup Venezuela and rolling a two uh, got him next to nowhere. Now, of course, if, if Gabriel had, had done that, he would have, um, you know, it, it would have it saved him six VP, but would have given up a coup in Africa. And after that one in Angola, maybe even gives up Africa control. Uh, but it's worth talking about what's Gabriel's path to victory. He has no dominations uh, on the board currently outside the Middle East. Uh, the Middle East is great. It was eight VPs for him, but uh, he is going to, but it's uh, it's scored now, obviously not coming back for, for the remainder of the game. Fidel is gone. Okay. Okay. Maybe waiting for that. The problem is he doesn't have a card he can poke Poland with. Yep. I wonder if you do you use VOA here? No, I guess you can't use VOA. No. I mean, oh. Yeah, I guess this is yeah, you have to you have to hope for a miss. Okay, he gets the miss. Now Gabriel needs to get out. Does he? He misses as well. Oh, goodness gracious. And there, there goes Frank, gets, gets out with cultural. Still the China card sitting there on the US side. Nope, 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 that one. There you go, okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is uh, one of the, this is a frustrating game for Gabriel, I am sure. And now he'll just take Europe back. This will, and Gabriel is going to fork over a nice six VPs. And he's going to be down a dozen going into the late war. So, um, pretty clear. Uh, and it went ABM gone as well. Pretty clear Gabriel's only hope is Gunman. Gunman is uh, in the deck, not necessarily in Frank's hand. Um, but Frank also has China. So gonna be gonna be hard for Gabriel to pull this one out. Oh, and there's a just gonna set up real lines in South America. War games is nice. The rest of this is not. That certainly is not.
Woof. Headline tear down this wall. Give up an Italy coup. Grain pulls war games. We go home. Yeah, I think sock govs is fine. I guess I'd remove one France rather than... It doesn't matter. I guess I'd remove one France rather than one Greece with De Gaulle around. But it, it doesn't matter. I think you just take the one-off coup here, right? And you just take the one-off coup. Well, I'm gonna take a two-off coup and roll a six. Okay, Gabriel now really with no path to stopping South America, Dom. I would I would have just taken the one up coup there unless I had arms race. Gabriel does not want missile envy stealing war games. Doesn't want to suffer that indignity. Africa scoring would be GG here. Pretty clear Frank doesn't have it. Egypt was a country that needed to be taken anyway. Gabriel trying gamely to stop this domination. I assume we'll just see Uruguay taken here by Frank. If he's feeling frisky, he could coup Colombia, but I don't think there's a, there's a need to at the moment. Should just be one Argentina, two Uruguay, right? Well, three Uruguay. Okay, something goes right there for Gabriel. He hits the space roll. Frank cannot get off the ground. Gabriel could try spacing again just for funsies. Could use Iran Iraq War to. Oh my goodness, another one in Africa. Iran Iraq War taking Paraguay. Oh, no, never mind. He doesn't have access to Paraguay. So it would have to take a country like Ecuador, at which point Paraguay would be taken. Then Bolivia could be taken. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out well for Gabriel. Okay. There's Cuba. And an extra in West Germany. A little surprised by that, adding another DEFCON card to the deck.
Yeah, that's fine. Just a garden variety two up will be good enough here. Noble hitting South America. This will repair Argentina. And then we'll see the scoring for five. Ew, A for P for five more. And now 19 for Frank. So uh, Iron Lady, Evil Empire, Reagan Bombs, all are GG. And that's good enough. Okay, so a tough loss here for Gabriel. Uh, not much you could do. Didn't get a lot of access. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Africa was very tough for him. So thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll be back. Um, actually, well, I won't be back. I'll be playing against uh, Jeremy Anders this evening uh, over on Derek's channel. Uh, he, Team Illinois will be commenting on that. We'll be playing that one. Um, Ted was originally going to join, not able to do it now. So... Uh, I think they're going to show both hands, and uh, so I hope that'll be an interesting one. So go join over there. And then I know Jordan's got a team game, Colorado against North Carolina. So I uh, hope you'll join. I uh, hope you'll do a little double screening uh, on that uh, later on. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a good rest of your day. That was fun, but now it's done. So long, everybody.